this feels heavy. Just turn his boat. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Yeah, that's a big one. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, he's barely freaking hooked. Oh no, 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 stop doing that. No, it is so barely hooked. Oh no, oh no, this is gonna get off. There we go, we got him. What is up, people? We are back out here again. So, we have some good news and we have some bad news. The good news is that we are finally in the boat and it feels unreal. The bad news is that half the lake is still frozen and inaccessible and the other half is littered with icebergs that we're gonna have to be dodging all day. Now, I don't know if any of y'all have seen the movie Titanic. Well, of course you've seen the movie Titanic. It's one of the best motion pictures of all time, but it's feeling pretty reminiscent of how that tragic story went down. So we're gonna try to not reenact that today. Oh, and I guess there's also two bad newses. Uh, yesterday when I was checking out this spot that we're fishing today, first fish of the year, which was an absolute beauty, I might add. It was like a 20 pound-ish, 37 and a half inch lake trout. Took the net into the water with it while I was setting up the camera. So we're gonna have to hand bomb lake trout into the boat with scary treble hooks in their mouth. And with that said, what we're gonna be doing today is trolling these big old school type crankbaits. Now, if you're unfamiliar, these may look like big, weird, dumpy old plugs. And I guess they kind of are, aside from the dumpy part, because these are the lake trout juice. What we have here is a quick fish by Lure Jensen and a Yakima flatfish. The flatfish here, just kind of a more base model and the quick fish, a little bit higher quality. Got some rattles going on in them and they're a little flashy. Now these baits when trolled have a crazy tail wagging action that drives these big mama lake trout wild. So basically what we're gonna do is troll these baits in the shallows through all these icebergs, hopefully try not to sink the boat and get on some big mama lake trout. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna navigate my way out of this iceberg minefield and we're gonna get on the spot. Let's get it. Oh, is that a fish? I think that might be a fish. Wow, that's a nice one. That's huge. That's huge. Look at this guy. Wow, that's decent. Jeez, 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 jeez. Look at that beauty. Wow, that's a stud. Let's get this guy unhooked. Jeez, let's get a measurement on this fish. 30, will it go 35? No, 34 and a half. All right, you guys, check this out. First fish of the day. Nice, healthy 34 and a half inch lake trout. Probably like 15 pounds or so. Fish, let's get her back. Whew, this water is cold. See you, girl. There she goes. Man, I love trolling these flatfish in the shallows. This little sandbar is absolutely loaded with fish and we're gonna keep trying to get on them. Okay, well, let's get another, shall we? We have completely drifted off course. Whoa, watch the iceberg. 
So this spot that we're fishing is basically just a sandbar, kind of in the middle of the big sandy muddy basin. Essentially what we're fishing is the outflow of the Thelon River. So there's a lot of current that pushes through this area. And within this currenty outflow area, there's a nice sandbar that's formed. I'm guessing from years of high current coming from the Thelon River. What we're doing is just trolling these basically big old school plugs along the break line of this sandbar. So it tops out around like nine to 12 feet and drops off into about 20 to 25. And we're just zigzagging back and forth up from the shallower end to the deeper end. Okay, so we're approaching that drop off from the sandbar right here. So it should shallow up really quickly. And what we're gonna do is just zigzag back and forth up along the brake line. As you can see, we are extremely close to town. There's still an incredible amount of ice outside of where the current from the Thelon River has stopped eroding away at it. It should be gone very, very soon, but for now, we are stuck within a little, I don't know, 10 kilometer radius maybe. And this appears to be where all the big mama lake trouts are hanging out. In the springtime up here at Lake Trout, immediately go to the mouths of rivers once the ice starts melting. There are a couple of rivers to the eastern part of the lake that would be the most ideal location to be right now, but due to the fact that we can't get there, this big Thelon River will have to do but we will be hitting those spots as soon as it is possible. I'm trying to keep our trolling speed between two and three miles an hour. I find that the faster end of that spectrum is usually where I hook up with fish. Now, as we know from ice fishing and watching our electronics super closely, lake trout are notorious for following baits. And that is absolutely no different when we're trolling. So realistically at any point, if you're trolling in a high percentage area, there could be a lake trout just sniffing down your bait which is why I like to vary the speed that I'm trolling quite often. Sometimes I'll give it a little juice, speed up. And I find often, right after varying the speed or maybe making like a sharp turn or something, that's when you'll get hit. So it's super shallow here. We're coming right up to the high point of this sandbar. And that bait is just absolutely smashing into the bottom. Luckily it's very sandy, so very minimal chance of getting snagged up. So we're gonna zigzag back off. Look at that, went from seven feet to 20 feet in like two seconds flat. So we'll keep zigzagging. So if you look on the electronics, you can see there seems to be tons of bait like kind of off into the basin on the edge of this sandbar. So I would assume that these lake trout are using this sandbar, the kind of sharp drop to target and catch these bait fish. Now keep in mind a lot of the things that I say is in fact bro science, but sometimes bro science is the best science. Oh, it feels good to be in the boat and drinking diet Pepsi. I am in fact drinking diet because I'm on a diet. Baker Lake beach season is just around the corner. It is a really sharp corner though, to be fair. Beach season's about five or six hours on the warmest day of the year and then that's about it. With that said, these lakes up in the Great White North don't really warm a whole lot, which is part of the reason why they are absolutely money for growing big, huge lake trout. As we know, lake trout like colder water. And in the lakes in Southern Canada and the Northern US and wherever the habitable range of lake trout is, lake trout often have to resort to the extreme depths in the heart of summer when the water warms. But up here, we're lucky if the water hits 60 degrees. So these lake trout can pretty much spend all year in the shallows if they wish. So basically what we're gonna do all day is troll back and forth up this uh, sand bank, sand bar, whatever you call it. Now that might sound terribly boring, but y'all love the ice fishing stuff and we're literally sitting in one spot jigging all day doing that. So I don't wanna hear nothing about how boring trolling is. It's exhilarating. Okay, we gotta get that Titanic vibe. Let's get these Lakers in the mood. A little Celine Dion. That's it. There's that ice. Fairly annoying. I hope it goes away soon. All right, we're gonna head back. 
more towards the shoreline. Just a little bit shallower past this time, I think. Okay, Celine, that's enough. Had enough after about two minutes. But that was a beautiful song, by the way. Whoa, I didn't even see that iceberg. Ole! We almost titanic it. Don't snag the iceberg, please. Wow, how did I not see that? that was Whoa, we hit it. Whoa, another iceberg. Whoa, another iceberg. Wow, I gotta start paying more attention to that. That could be disastrous. Whoa, big iceberg. Whoa, big iceberg. We certainly don't want to hit that. That one's fine. Wild. Oh, fish. That's a fish. Has to be a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. I don't think it's very big. Splashing on the surface is not a good sign. That's kind of a dink. Kind of a dink. He's all wrapped up. Stop, 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 stop. I'm trying to help. You're making this worse, way worse. Unnecessarily, too. Okay, check them out. Fish number two. Maybe like a 30 incher. Not bad at all. Let's get him back. See ya, boy. Whew, it's getting hot. Oh, that's better. I gotta take these bibs off, too. I'm sweating. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, now that we're comfy, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Oh, there's a fish. <clears throat> oh, it's fighting good. This one feels heavy. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Yeah, that's a big one. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, he's barely freaking hooked. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Oh no, it is so barely hooked. Oh, oh that's a good one. Oof. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna get off. Oh boy. Boy, I wish I had a net. We got him. Now I need to play this very carefully so I don't get hooked. There we go. Oh, okay. Here she is. Look at that big beauty. Right in front of town. What a beautiful fish. Unreal. Let's get a measurement and get her back. Quick measurement. Quick. I said quick. I said quick. I said quick. Quick measurement. Ay, ay, ay. Ay. Got like 34 or 35 or something. Ah. Ah. Okay, let's get it back. 
Wow, that fish is charged up still. All right, let's get another. Heavy. Is it a good one? It's not a bad one. Oh my goodness, just barely hooked again. Oh no, he's up good. That just happened, and what is exactly happening? Okay, okay, all right, okay, okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Check this guy out. Seems a little bit sickly. He's got some weird stuff going on on his head and quite skinny. Old fish, get him back. See you, buddy. Oh, fish. Whoa. Holy Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Wow, this feels heavy. Ooh, it's turning the boat. Maybe it is a good one. Fish is probably fighting best out of all the fish today. This might be a good one just staying down. This has got to be a good one. The cow is fighting compared to all the others. What is in his mouth? Okay, I want to get this. I want to get the lower hook out first, or the front hook, I guess I should say. Because it is in a really bad spot. Okay. One, I think we salvaged that. Situation. I don't think he got hooked in his gills or anything at all. Oh yeah, this guy's good. Alright, look at that beauty. That is such a perfect fish. Unreal. Look at that shade of orangey pink on his tail. Just want to get a quick measurement on him, just because I'm curious. Thirty-one and a half. 
Let's get her back. Okay, let's get another one. There's fish. freaking big yeah that's a good one that might be the biggest of the day oh is that ever the biggest of the day holy smokes oh no 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 stop doing that no <laughs> that is so the biggest of the day that's a good one Wrapping himself up. Ooh. Yikes. Stop doing that. Oh, that's a good one. Boy, oh, no. oh, do I wish I had a net. Uh -huh. No, he's going nowhere. That's a big one. Oh boy! Holy! Stop it, please! Uh. Oh, he's splashing my face. I think I better tail it. There we go, we got him. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at that big lake trout. Woo. Definitely the biggest of the season. Wow, that's gotta be high teens, maybe 20 pounds. What a beauty. Man, that's back to back awesome fish. Let's get this thing measured. Ow! Stop! 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 Stop it, please! Please stop! Please stop! That's looking thirty-eight and a quarter. Definitely the biggest of the year. Give her another drink. I'm gonna give you one last look at her. Wow! Look at that big beauty. 38 and a quarter. Oh, let's get her back. Oh, look at how thick that tail is. Can't even connect my fingers around it. Nope. There she goes. What a beauty. Whew. All right, you guys. I can't think of a better way to end this video. That was the one we were looking for. Got a bunch of super nice ones, and I was more than pleased with that, but to end it on a big, big mama like that. Perfect ending to an awesome day. Felt so good to be back in the boat. After a long winter like we had, felt like it may never happen, but we're back out here, baby. Anyways, as always, thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay tuned and stick around for more big mama boat action from the Great White North. Till next time, peace.